In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use TradingView on your mobile phone. And this is in response to one of you who wanted to actually know the platform that I use for my analysis. And that platform is called TradingView. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use TradingView on your mobile app. You can actually use the web version of it, but let's focus on the mobile app. Maybe I'll make another video on how to use the web version in subsequent video. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you use the link in the video description to sign up for a trading view account just click on the link sign up for an account and download the app on your phone then you can follow the step-by-step -step instruction if you want to learn more and take advantage of all the free signals i will share every day on telegram the link to join the telegram platform will be on my bio in the video description now with that being said let's jump right into it guys so once you open up trading view i've already been using my trading view so it's definitely not going to be like this right so right here once you open trading view down here you'll see these different menus down here okay i have my watch list and then we have the chart we have the explore we have the ideas and then we have the menu then up here if i scroll to the left or right you'll see the list of all of the watch lists that i've created watch list which is this first option right here is where you can add the tokens that you want to be trading every day right so what i have here is btc all of these tokens that I, I trade very often those are what i have on my watch list and i have different watch lists okay i have different watch lists right here you can see i have watch lists for even forest for meme coins and it goes on the list goes on now you can have the option to create more watch lists if you actually use a paid version of the trading view app but if you are using the free version i think you can only create one watch list so you see the option by default when you sign off a trading view account there will be a default watch list here that comprises of um, crypto stock forex everything will be here so all you just need to do is just to click and then you can delete okay you see the option that says remove down here anyone you click and hold right you see the option there if you click and hold on anyone you see the option that says remove and then you can go ahead and remove tokens from your watch list another way to remove tokens from your watch list is to click and drag it to your left okay so you click and drag to the left and then you can see the option there that says delete and you go ahead and delete it so you can delete all of the tokens that you have on your watch list there and add only the ones that you want and you have the option to to rename your watch list so if i want to add a new watch list you see the option that say add list i can go ahead and add it and then i can name the watch list and then go ahead and create now i have the liberty to create as many watch lists as possible because i am using a paid version but you can do all of this with the free version you don't need too many watch lists just one watch list is enough for you right now here is where you arrange all of the tokens you want to be trading then if you want to non trade if you want to just start doing your technical analysis you will go to the chart option so on the chart option right here definitely your interface will not be looking like mine because i've customized a lot of things so as you can see right here these are my drawing tools right these ones are my drawing tools and because i favorite them that's why they are on the screen right now i'll show you how to do that in a moment so this is where you will analyze your chart now before i go into showing you how to use the uh watch list option remember that the tokens are on my watch list i can come in here and click on any of these token and to open up the chart so if i go out of this interface right here and i go ahead and click on the chart option it takes me back to the ena token that has been there already now how do i change it if i go to the watch list and i click on srp for instance to be able to open up srp on the chart i just need to click on this icon right here that icon will open up srp on the chart for you so you see that it, do, it goes ahead and load srp right here then we can now start analyzing srp and so this is where we're going to buy srp this is where we're going to enter a trade and all of that then if you want to switch here without going back to the watch list from one token to another that you have on your watch list all you just need to do if you check right here you see that srp is the one selected and beneath and above we have other tokens showing up there so if i click and hold on that and drag it up you see that it keeps changing all from one token to another right so let's say i want to switch to let's say ondo i can go ahead once i get to ondo i will leave it and then that will go ahead and open up the ondo token for me 
And the same thing happens to the time frame. So these are my time frame right here. I'm currently on the one hour time frame. Let's say I want to switch to a different time frame. All I just need to do is to click and hold on the time frame option. And then I can drag it and say, okay, let's go to the daily time frame. Once I get there, I'll release it. And this automatically switch to the daily time frame. Now, the way you push or you navigate your chart right here, I can click and move around. But what if I want to just like this one, I'm moving it up and down. Okay. Um, you have to click on this price scale right here. Click and hold and then push it up and down. Right. Click, hold, push it up and down and you will get this, you know, uh, this, will I say, is it panning or so? All right. You see this that I'm, you know, moving up and down. You use this price scale to do that. Now, what if I want to move it this way? All right. Left and you know, right and all of that. So all I need to do is to click and hold on the date option here. Okay. Date and time shows up here. And then this is your price scale to move it up and down. And then this one right here, if you click and hold it is to move it left, right. Okay. And just to move your chart around and all of that to be able to see clearer picture of what is happening on the chart. Right. So that's how you do that. Now to get all of these drawing tools, let's say I want to draw uh, a long or short position too. Let's I want to enter a trade. Let me go back to that one hour time frame so that you see what I'm saying, right? Now I have this long position too that is in, um, uh, drawn on the chart right here. Now, if I want that too, if I want to use it, how do I do that? The next thing I need to do is you see the pencil icon right here. That's what you're going to click on. If you click on that pencil icon, you will see all of the different drawing tools that you have here, right? So you need to scroll down. Now, these drawing tools are all um, titled right under uh, favorite. Okay, these are all the ones that are favorite. Then if you go down, you see trend lines. You see all of the tools that are on trend lines. If you scroll down again, you see the Fibonacci option. You see patterns and all of that. Now, if I scroll down to where it says forecasting and measurement, this is where we have the long and short position too. This is the one you use to calculate how much you'll be making if the market goes in your favor and then how much you'll be losing if it goes against you. So these are the tools. Now to have them on your chart, just like I have mine, make sure that you check out this star here. It, it, it had to be highlighted, okay? So if I go ahead and select this one, it is not highlighted, but once I favorite it, it should be, the star will be highlighted. So, okay, all you need to do is to click and hold. And once you click and hold on any one you want to, so you see where it say add to favorite, Go ahead and click on it and this will be added to your favorite list. And once it's added to your favorite list, guys, you'll be seeing it showing up on the chart like this. Okay. So these are all the tools that I use and they are all on my favorite. And that's how you can add tools to your favorite or drawing tools to your favorite. Now, what if you want to add indicator? Okay. If you want to use indicator, all you just need to do is to click on this icon right here. If you click on it, this dialog box pops up. On this dialog box right now, you see the indicators option, click on it, and you can go ahead and search for any indicator that you want to add up to your chart. So you search for it and the indicator comes up, you can click on it and add it up to your chart and you can start tweaking it and start using it. All right. So if we'll go back to the chart again. What else have I not showed you here? Um, what is, what is, what is, what is the whole lot? Now, if I do, let's say I move this stuff right here this way and I want to bring it back. Okay. If I want to bring it back to the previous uh, level where it was, all I just need to do is to click on this arrow icon right here and that will undo what I just did right now. Okay. So, and then if you want to redo it, you click on this other one that is facing this other way. And that is how you can undo and redo on this platform right here. All right. So on the menu option is where you can, you know, set up, log out, all of that. You can see all of those options right here. On the explore, you can, uh, you know, go ahead and check out what is here. On the ideas option, these are where people, you know, traders like you are sharing ideas on different coins. For instance, this person just shared an idea on Bitcoin. Watch this breakout scenario and all of that. So you can go ahead and click on the chart. You can zoom it out. Okay. So you can go ahead and click on the post that person has made here. You can read through to learn more from what they are saying. Okay. You can look at the chart, zoom in, you know, and, you know, zoom out. And you can look at the different levels, the analysis they have done here. And you can use this idea too to start buying or selling a particular token, right? And 
that's basically everything you need to know. Every other thing on trading view you need to learn in the process. So all you just need to do is just to start playing around. Okay, but most importantly on your watch list here, once you come in here for the first time, you see different tokens there. And I've showed you how to remove tokens on the watch list and add up your own token. If I want to add a token to the watch list, there's a plus icon at the top here. So you see this plus icon at the top, you go ahead and click on it. Once you click on that plus icon, you can go ahead and search for any token right here. Okay, USDT. So you search for the ticker of the token, you know, and always add USDT. And once it pops up, now, very, very important, something you need to take note of is once it pops up, it shows you one for Binance. This one is for Binance Spot. Okay, it shows you another one for Bybit. This one is for Bybit Spot. All right. Now, what I do is if I want to trade that token on the futures market, I want to make sure that I'm looking for the one that corresponds with the market I want to trade. If it is spot, you can go ahead. And if it is on the Binance platform, you go ahead. If it is spot on Bybit, go ahead and select that. But since I want to trade on Fishers, I'll be looking for the one that is Fishers. Every other thing here is, um, you know, spot, spot, spot. Okay. So the more I keep scrolling down, the more I'll keep seeing different exchanges, you know, and all of that so i'll just scroll down here until i see what i want for the features market this is a theorem on bybit features how do i know it is bybit features because right here it has swap crypto okay if it is spot you will see spot crypto but when it says, it says swap crypto or it has dot p to read it means that that is for the perpetual contract as you can see ethereum perpetual right so that one is for spot and that is the one that i will select you can see already this is on my watch list so that's the one i will select and then i'll go ahead and chart that particular token so if you are trading with any other exchange i will always advise that you go with a token on that particular exchange you are trading because at times you know volatility may cause these tokens to trade at different prices all right even on the same exchange at times the token is trading on a different price on the spot market and it is trading on a different price on the futures market. So if you don't select a token for that particular market you want to trade, you may be charting a different token and then be taking a different trade, which can actually result to making you lose your money, right? So you can use TradingView to chart anything, whether crypto, as long as they have candlesticks, all right? You can use it to chart anything, whether crypto, you can see up here, crypto, stock, funds, futures, forex, indices, bonds, economy, uh, options, and all of that. You can use it to do anything. So TradingView is that one platform that we use for technical analysis to read charts, to interpret charts, to know what the market is saying, and to be able to take trades. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to learn more, you can join us on Telegram. The link will be on my bio or in the video description. We share a lot of free signals and free resources on Telegram to make you profitable. So take advantage of this right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.